Hey guys, it's Sarah, and today I'm going to be filming my October favorites. I got really positive feedback on my last favorites video, and I haven't done another one, so I figured, hey, I have no idea what to film, let's do another favorites video to see how it goes. That's my life. I've really been into skincare lately, and these are just some of the products that I like to use. First up is the Biore pore strips, and these are the deep cleansing pore strips. They're just like the regular ones, and they're no strips. So, yeah. I'm supposed to use these like every week, but you know, I'm really lazy. So, when I see that my nose like starts getting really, really gross, I just like use one of these. Put it on for like 5 to 10 minutes, and it gets the job done. So, yeah. This is the Clean and Clear Night Relaxing Deep Cleansing Face Wash and it's oil free and since I am a night showerer I really really like this one and it just like takes all that oil out of my face and really helps with acne actually. So yeah I also have this one which is the Morning Burst Facial Cleanser which comes with it. It's also oil free. And I use these on Saturdays because on Saturdays I normally like wash my hair and I do all that in the morning. So this one is about one fourth gone. And this is a new one because I was like all out of this. Next up, more face washes. So this one is the Sun Eyes Even and Bright Pink Lemon and Mandarin Orange Scrub. That is quite a name there. I just use this when I feel like my skin is getting like kind of like really really bad the exfoliation factor in this is moderate so it's not like really really harsh on your face which is something that i really truly enjoy and just when i need like to exfoliate my face a little bit more i would go for this one and for an everyday thing i will normally go for the st ives nourished and smooth oatmeal scrub plus a mask which you know it could also be a mask and it softens skin and smooths away dryness i really really like this one it is a gentle on the exfoliation factor so it's really really soft and it's going to make your skin really really soft right after you use it but for this one it's going to make your skin a little bit dry after so just keep in mind like whichever you want to use this is more like an everyday thing and this is like a once or twice a week thing i would say next up is a face mask and this is from lush this is actually the first lush product that i own this was a gift my friend rachel gave it to me i'm so so happy like i was checking it out on her computer and i'm just like oh yeah i've never gotten anything from lush i want to get this so maybe it will be cool blah, blah 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 next thing i know she shows up and she gives it to me thank you so much rachel if you're watching this video this mask has changed my life um it's the brass and honey fresh face mask and it revitalizes tired skin with warming I can't read that word. Herbs and spices, ground almonds to polish, and moisturizing honey. I love this. If you're just looking for like a simple face mask to just like get deep in your pores and like fix your face basically. Um, Breast and Honey by Lush. I totally, totally recommend it. Next up is my moisturizer and I got a new one. This is the oil-free moisturizer for combination skin and it's by Neutrogena and I've been loving this. I was reading the ingredients and I found out that this had glycerin and I got really excited because glycerin is basically a product that will help your makeup like stick to your face and I've learned this by Nick Tutorials. She's a beauty guru here on YouTube. If you want to check her out, I'll have her channel linked down below. For you. So yeah, it has glycerin and it's um, oil free, which is great. And yeah, I just really wanted to try a new one out and this works great. It's for combination skin. So it basically like moisturizes the dry patches or like dry areas in your face. And also it keeps matte all the oily areas. So that description of this moisturizer really convinced me, especially since my skin is like kind of been all over the place lately it's been dry and sometimes been just overly oily but this moisturizer has really like saved my life so 
Thank you, Neutrogena. Last but not least for skincare is this Baby Lips. And it's just like the regular one. I, I would say this is like the original one. I don't really know the beginning of Baby Lips, where it started or whatever. But it's just like the orange one with like the red. It's in number 15 and it's called Cherry Me. And I just like it for like to just moisturize your lips. Especially since my lips have been pretty dry lately. So I've been like exfoliating my lips like you know with a toothbrush and DIY doing like DIY um, Lip scrubs and stuff and you know, I just put this on sometimes at night or just all the time during the day It just keeps my lips moisturized and smooth and soft and all the good stuff now We are going to be entering the hair category. This is some coconut oil. I got this from Walmart This is like basically all the way full still and lately I've been just like applying this with a cotton swab to my eyebrows it's really good conditioner you could put it on your hair too I've tried it it's great um, but I prefer to use it for my eyebrows with a little cotton swab I just put it on at night and it just helps the hairs in those like sparse areas of my eyebrows grow and get darker and I could already like see the results I was doing this before then I stopped and now I'm starting again especially because I want to fix this eyebrow which is you could definitely see that this one is way way thinner than this one and then this one there's just like some sparse spots in like this area I'm wearing like no eyebrow products so these are like my natural eyebrows right now but yeah I'm just like trying to like grow my eyebrows and you know like better that brow game coconut oil really really helps all right so next up i am going to move on to the category of beauty i have two products for this and they are concerning the lips the first one is a lip liner it's by milani and it's their color statement lip liner it's called bordox and this is what i use actually in my um fall makeup video that I did. I really really like this with Max Twig. It's kind of like a brownish pink I would say. Kind of like a subtle brownish pink. And I really really like this. My mom bought this and then I sort of like took it because I liked it better and it looked better on me. Um, so yeah. But she doesn't use it so it's basically mine. And I love these two together because they give you like the perfect fall lip. So you should go get them if you want. Next category is scents or smells or perfumes, however you want to call it. Let's just say perfumes. So if you know me well, you know that I'm obsessed with Ariana Grande and I got her new perfume and it's called, I don't even have to read this, why am I trying to read this? It's called Ari by Ariana Grande and it's like the cutest bottle, like the shape is just like, it's amazing and this much has been gone of it and I'm just like, oh. I've just been using it for like every day honestly but like not every day because I don't want it to like go to waste or anything I look really creepy it smells amazing so if you want to go get it I went to Macy's to get this one I believe it's also available in Ulta and stuff so any one of those stores just like google it you'll find some places where you can get this it's so fluffy yeah so you should go get it next up and last but not least is music now i'm in love with music i love singing i love dancing awkwardly i love everything just everything that has to do with music i'm in love with so i'm just going to share with you guys a couple of my favorite songs that have been released or i've just discovered in the month of october so first one is number one on itunes charts currently and it is hello by adele and this song just, it just blew my mind. I am in love with it. And I'm going to play a little bit of it for you guys. Praying to God that I do not get copyrighted for this. When we were younger and free I've forgotten how it felt before the world fell at our feet There's such a difference between us and the millions Second song would be Focus by Ariana Grande, of course. So I'm gonna play a little bit of it as well. The next 30 minutes are ad free. Enough of that. So the third and last song, and the last favorite for this video would be. 
Sorry by Justin Bieber. It's just... I love it. Especially the Alex Iono cover. I will have that linked down below because it is just mind-blowing, amazing. I love it. Let's dance to death. So that's it for my October favorites. Thank you so so much if you made it to the end of this video. I appreciate you. I love you with all of my heart. Thank you for being part of this beautiful, wonderful family. And if you're watching this and you're not one of my subscribers and you want to be part of this beautiful, wonderful family that we have going on here on my channel, then go ahead and subscribe. It is free. It will just notify you when I post a new video. And yeah, if you want to stick with me, then go ahead and click that subscribe button. It should be like right down there written in red anyway so yeah that's it for this video i love you guys so so much don't forget that you are beautiful and i love you see you in my next video bye guys so oh wow i forgot a product the glare I'm going to my Spotify. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What am I? What am I doing? What am I? What am I doing? What am I? What am I doing? Where is my music playlist? Focus on red.